Okay, we're over here back on the TEA20 and we're going to lift this lift cover off. Now, I think I've got the camera where you can see what you need to see, what I can show you at least. Now, to start off with, this link here, which is your draft link, now that looks like this and there's a pivot pin going through the housing there and it pivots on there um, it sits like that, it pivots on there and your top link goes in here and your spring goes there so that pivots back and forth. So I've got a new link here for my tractor and the reason is that this one here has been broken off. So there's, there's still a bit of pipe or the bush in there but in our instance we haven't got to worry too much about it. So first thing I like to do is, look at this, we've got a, we've got a nail in here instead of a cotter pin, split pin. <laughs> Whatever works at the time, eh? That's all you need to worry about. So I'll come around and try and try and get this fella out. I might just cut him off and pull him out. Okay, that pin's that pin's coming out well. Look at the movement in here. Looks like we've got a bit of work there. I'll put the pin there. This pin here. I've ordered the parts for the leveling box. So if I put my toe under that arm and take some of the weight. Now I might need to get a pair of pliers for that. Just to get onto it, have a hang on. Here they are. That's on its way. I'll just take a little bit of the weight. So there we go. Those two arms are free. This top link's free. Now this can be a bugger of a job. I did a video a long time ago on doing that. And you'll notice there's a small hole this side and a large hole that side. That would say you could get something in and push the bush and line it up and all that. But there's another video on that. So we probably won't go there just at the moment. No need. Now if you remember correctly, we've got the hydraulic pump out of this tractor. So normally you would have to hop underneath and pull a little fork out. But in this series I showed you how to, um, how to pull this, this hydraulic pump how to pull that out from the bottom so we don't need to do that but if you are just pulling the top cover off to do top cover repairs you're going to need to do that I've done an earlier video on pulling a lift cover off as well you look go back and have a look at it it's all information that you can use I'm sure now you'll see a row of bolts now bolts with a 1116 hex head going around the outside here and inside here you'll see one two three four nuts and the nuts have the studs coming in from underneath do not undo those you can undo them on the bench that there is where the lift cylinder bolts onto the lift cover underneath here so if by mistake you've um, undone them and let that drop down it's probably worth pulling the top cover off to have a look because the gasket may have moved or the o-ring um, you can see there's an oil gallery going across through here um, they may have moved so it's up to you but yeah don't don't undo those four until you get it on the bench is my advice at least so i'll get me a little nut gun going i'll see how we go Oh, this little 3.8 drive Makita is a beauty. DTW253. Like I say, now I've told you it's a good thing, I was going to get a stuck bolt.
Get me out of there. Okay, so what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think it is. So we'll pull all them out of the way and tuck them aside for the moment. And we'll just sit them up here just for... Just because we've got to put them somewhere, don't we? Okay, now I'll come around the back here and I'll see how tight this is. Oh, well, not very. Okay. I have seen now the original Fergie tool, you could leave this hooked up and you could swing that whole thing back, you know, lift up over the... Uh, there was a bracket that went onto the seat here and it had a handle and you could bring it back, but of course we don't have that. You probably won't have one either. The only thing we have to look for now is down inside where that that fork goes down. So if we lift him up at the front here, we should be able to hop in if I can. I probably should use a little crane for this, but I've got drums in the road and cameras in the road and I'll That against my leg. And bring him up. Oh, look. Silly bastard. Um, that little aluminium yoke is still there, I think. Oh, we shouldn't have to worry about that. Let's have a look. Yep, I've just got to undo that. <laughs> I forgot it was there. I thought I'd cleared all that out. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, that's a little fella I'd forgotten about. I had the bolt out of one side to spread the legs to get the um, to show you how to get the valve off, but I'd forgotten that I'd left that on the other side. So you need to get that out. The early tractors don't have that. The later tractors do. So what happens? That comes and hits on the pinion. Oh, on the pinion drive collar, I suppose you'd call it. Now, if we just get some fingers under here. That should just lift like that. That's your lift cover lifted off. Now look, I'll cart this over to the bench and we'll do a bit of major surgery over there, right? Eh? Looks like we've got a lot to replace. There's a lot of rusty bits, so. Next time you see this, it'll be sitting on my bench. I'll just pan out so at least you can see. Yeah, you can see all rust in here and things like that, but I'll get her over there and we'll come back for a chat. 